Hi, I'm Jennifer from Professional Supplement Center. All right, so we've all spent countless hours reading health articles and combing the internet for steps to a healthier life. But how many of us are actually putting those steps into action? Susan Brown, the health and wellness editor at Professional Supplement Center, understands that our passion for a healthier life can be difficult and overwhelming at times to put into action. So today we're going to share her recipe for good health in eight easy steps so you can put that passion into action. Step one, eat nutritiously. I really can't stress enough the importance of nutrition. It may help to remember that you have to eat well to be well. To eat well is to eat simply by choosing foods as close to their natural state as possible. Equally important is hydration, so be sure to drink sufficient water every day to satisfy your thirst. Step two, exercise regularly. We all know we should exercise every day, yet many of us can't or won't or don't find the time to give our body the activity it craves. As a former ballet dancer, I know how good it feels to move your body and how well the body responds to frequent exercise. The thing about exercise is this, the more you move, the more your desire to move increases. Your body is designed to move, so move it. Step three, get sufficient sleep. For those who want to maintain their health, scientific evidence supports sufficient sleep as an adjunct to a nutritious diet and exercise. So put down those devices, turn off the TV, and get regular restful sleep and awake refreshed, energized, and ready to start the day. Step four, maintain a healthy weight. Notice that I didn't say you need to be as thin as a runway model. You can be slightly overweight and still be healthy. If you are overweight, reduction of five to 10% of your body weight and long-term maintenance of that weight loss can bring significant health gains and reduce risk of developing chronic disease. Step five, reduce stress. Chronic stress can accelerate the onset of disease, especially when combined with unhealthy lifestyle habits. Physical activity helps to deplete stress hormones and release mood enhancing endorphins. Combine that with a good night's sleep and you are well on your way to improve mental health and physical well-being. Step six, drink alcohol in moderation. This is an easy step for those of us who enjoy a daily glass of wine, a cocktail, or a beer after work. It's a hard step for those who have trouble stopping at one or two. As with any illness that comes with lifestyle choices, the best time to think about your health is before problems develop. So enjoy an occasional alcoholic beverage. Just be moderate in your intake. Step seven, don't smoke. Quitting smoking reduces the health risks caused by exposure to tobacco smoke for smokers and non-smokers alike. Quitting is difficult as the urge to smoke is powerful, but the addiction can be overcome. It's the single best thing you can do to support and improve your health. And last but not least, step eight, supplement with high quality nutraceuticals. Supplementing with high quality vitamins and nutraceuticals can fill in nutritional voids, support specific health concerns, and keep our systems functioning optimally. Vitamins and minerals work synergistically, which means we need recommended amounts of all vitamins and minerals for our body to use them efficiently. To recap, eat healthy most of the time, exercise most days, and get restful sleep most nights, as this lifestyle trifecta helps to form a healthy weight. Follow these simple steps along with not smoking, limiting alcohol intake, reducing stress, and taking your daily essential vitamin and mineral supplements puts you on the right track to wellness and well on your way to overall healthy aging. For more information on this topic and other health-related articles, visit the Professional Supplement Center blog where you'll find many informative articles written by Jackie Eubanks, our registered nurse, and Susan Brown, our health and wellness editor.